Okay, so you might remember this yard from last year. Um, she's been doing it herself lately, but she fell a little bit behind with her work schedule, so she asked me if I can clean it up for her. So we're just going to do a quick little front yard only cut edge and trim. Uh, my house is six or seven houses up the street, so I didn't even bring my truck. So we're just going to weed eat and edge with the weed eater, and then we'll go ahead and uh, break out the mower. edging mulch and rock and stuff like that if you bury the head in it like bury it down in it if it's up here it'll flick shit everywhere if you keep it down here you're keeping the tail you're keeping the whip your tail from expanding out and flinging shit everywhere so I'll show you again
coming to last cut.
a mess. This yard hasn't been done in a little while, I'll tell you that much. And when it was cut, it wasn't weeded in and edged. But we're looking pretty crisp now. Some good edges. Definitely looking good. Let's go get the mower and uh, mulch this up, blow it in, and we're done.
Hi, real quick. Um, people will talk about the grass leaving, uh, or the mower leaving stragglers and having to go back over it. Okay. Um, I've used Troy Built. I've used Toro Recyclers. Uh, I've used many different brands for Craftsman. Um, I've tried them all, and they all do the same if you're cutting thick grass or if you're moving too fast. So here's stragglers. We got stragglers for sure. This looks like shit. This is not acceptable. I have to double cut it. I know I have to double cut it. I mean, look at this. We're taking five inches of grass off. We're not, you know what I'm saying? Right here's the cut height. We're cutting this much grass off. One, two, three inches. You shouldn't be cutting more than an inch to two inches at the most. Uh, especially mulching. There's just nowhere for the clippings to go unless you go really, really slow. And then it's like counterproductive. You feel like you're not getting anywhere. You need to move to get wind on your face. So. If you're cutting stuff like this and it's got morning dew and it's tall and it's thick, it's not sparse, and it's thick blades of, of St. Augustine grass, <laughs> expect it. All right, it's going to happen. Um, one way to counter this would be to bag it, then the clippings will get away quicker, uh, or rear discharge it but then you have to double cut it anyways so it's just something to think about you guys ever do that as a kid put it between your thumbs like that that's it it's perfect a double cut quicker speed takes care of it like that and if you're like well I don't want to take the time to have to double cut well then you should have took the time a week ago to mow your lawn and <laughs> it wouldn't be like this and you wouldn't have to double cut um, let me reference Alan from the lawn care nut four days he goes all right if he doesn't cut his grass every four days he catches hell so check out Alan from the lawn care nut he likes to cut his grass every four days that allows him to rip right through it and that makes every machine he has look like a champ but let that grass go two weeks and he'll be calling Dan saying hey man how do you get through this thick shit I'm just kidding Alan I'm not picking on you but I'm like always cutting thick shit <laughs> my customers can't afford four days so I cut my grass once a week because of my work schedule but, uh,
job, not a bad job at all. Because of the condition, we did a video uh, yesterday, put it up on Dan's Boys and Toys channel, doing the uh, unboxing, assembly, and test riding it yesterday. Uh, we gotta go get helmets. Go easy on me. Um, if this place wasn't such a mess, it wouldn't have taken me so long. I wouldn't have had to double cut some of the areas, but eh, not bad. Happy customer. All right, man, if you guys don't mind, it's Sunday. I'm going to go have some fun with my boys. And it's going to start with the skateboard and a blower. Hey, if you guys didn't see, I'll link to it right here. I got a video of this with two gas blowers riding all over the neighborhood 20 miles an hour with GPS, never having to kick. We call it the uh, twin engine rocket powered skateboard. It's a low quality video, but it came out pretty neat. You should check it out. Tell me about the whistle. The whistle. 